Bible says, that which I speak to you, I declare to you in the secret place. He said, declare down upon the mountain top. 1 Corinthians 15, from verse 54. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on him corruption, and this mortal shall put up immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Verse 55. Can we read it together? One to read. O oh death, where is your sting? O oh grave, where is thy victory? Tonight we are challenging the spirit of death, but it is they that know their God. They shall be strong. Not they that have heard about him. Not they that preach him. They that have paid the price to know their God. They shall be strong. And they shall do exploits. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So death is a spirit. Very quickly. Is there a way out of the grip of this devil and this spirit? And so if you do not know where you stand. One outing you can live and not return again. But let me tell you something. The Bible says the first Adam was made a quickening soul. But the second Adam has been made not a life-giving spirit. Not a life-possessing spirit. You have so much of that life. It is within your power to dispense it. Hallelujah. How do you enforce your victory over this spirit of death? Especially in this day and age. Please write it down. There are principles. It doesn't happen by magic. Victory over the spirit of death. Number one. Realize that in Christ... If you are born again and you have given your heart to Jesus Christ genuinely, the Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 1 that we are above. Everybody say, I'm above. I don't know how to make you believe it, but say, I am above. Say it again, I am above. It's a spiritual location. I'm far above. Oh, hallelujah. Let them cast their spells. Far above. Far above. Make all the enchantments. I will go out and come back safe. I'm far above. Hallelujah. Number two. <laughs> Hebrews 2, verse 9. Who was made a little lower than the angels of the... For what? The suffering of death. This is Jesus paying the price. Crowned with glory and honor. That he by the grace of God should do what? Should do what? Read your Bible. Should do what? Test death for who? Every man. Let's look at verse 14. Ah, I love the word of God. For as much as ye are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had what? The power of death that is the devil. Through death he passed through it so that he will destroy the power. The devil and his power. Remember in Revelation, he said power was given to that spirit. Verse 15. Everyone read. And deliver them who through the what? Stop. Not through who through death. Through the fear. There is a terror. There is a spirit. That's why every time wickedness is happening, the spirit of fear always precedes it. To make people afraid. When a is saying three days, you will not leave. He's releasing the spirit of fear. The fear of death were all their lifetime subject to what? This is what is going on. You can't go out in the morning because you are afraid. The fear of death brings bondage. Some of you are supposed to have traveled. You can't travel. Because you are wondering. The car. Number three. Realize that death has been defeated. Revelations 1 verse 18. I am he that liveth and was what? Dead. And behold. I am alive forever. Amen. And I have the keys. I'm going to find out where that key is today. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 55. The scripture we saw. How can a spirit terrorize nations? Terrorize people? Oh death! Where is your sting? It likens the way death takes people to the sting of a scorpion. So he said, I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions. Scorpions that stink. He said, oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, you have been boasting that any man you take must enter. Where is now your victory? 
there are people who have defied the power of the grave. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Number four. How do you enforce your victory? You must apply the blood of Jesus by faith. The last way or the last way of enforcing your victory is through the authority and power that is conferred in the name of Jesus. I like this one. Goodness. One of my best scriptures, Luke 10, 19. Behold, see, conceive it as a reality that I have given you. I give you. The word there is not power like dunamis. It's the word exousia. I give you authority. The authority that comes with my office. I give it to you. To tread upon serpents, scorpions, and over how many? All the powers of the enemy. This is the best part of the verse. And nothing shall by any means. You went to school. Brothers and sisters, what is the meaning of by any means? Whether it is by your mistake, whether it is by your lack of prayer, what, by any means, if you stand in this office, I stake my reputation that when it comes to protecting you, nothing shall by any means. There are different means it can come through. Your carelessness, right? Your miss. I, I teach you a secret of spiritual immunity. You will walk through challenges that are killing others by a mystery that you will never be able to understand. He said, nothing. It is on the strength of this scripture. The Bible says, surely they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, they shall scatter. He said, they will come to you in one way and scatter in seven ways. The absolute control of the universe. Now said to my Lord, who got it by conquest, sit down. And the Bible says, whoever enters this office, some things will start becoming possible.